All right, so we're in here. I already have my text typed up. I like to use the impact font when I'm doing this only because it's nice and bold and thick and I like to use it in all uppercase. If you type, oops, if you type like I do, I have a habit of capitalizing the first letter and then, you know, so I just click these two uppercase T's and make them all capital. As you can see, my photo is a little bit uh, smaller than my text. I actually want to cut some of the image out first. So I'm going to use my um, square marquee tool. And I'm going to hold down shift as I drag because I kind of want to keep it square. And I just want to use the my face. I'm going to select inverse, make sure I have my photo uh, selected, rasterize layer, and then cut out what I don't want to use. From here, I'm going to make this a larger square. And I just want to make sure it's going to cover my text. Right click your photo, create click clipping mask, and that's it. It's super freaking simple. I'm gonna go back over that one more time. So once you've cropped your image the way you want it, and uh, you can even adjust the color, whatever you wanna do. You're gonna right click. You can right click and or you can go up here to layer and create clipping mask. Now, once you get it in there, first of all, this is a great uh, way to do this for sublimation or even to do it if you want to do it as a print and cut as opposed to doing it with the slice tool, uh, the slice, slice tool in Cricut Design Space because with this method, you can move it around. Now, had I made my image just a little bit bigger, um, I would have more, you know, more space to move around. But that's the good thing about creating a clipping mask here. Now, um, say you needed to add like a glitter text or something, it's basically the same method. 